Hi everyone, it's Neil from Big Science with another one of our science experiments you can do at home. We're missing our science parties and science sessions so much, we thought we'd show you how we do one of our big science demonstrations. This demonstration is our flying toy roll demonstration. It's great to try at home and we hope you enjoy doing it as much as we do. When we do our flying toy roll demonstration, we use a leaf blower and a wallpaper roller, as well as cheap toy roll. However, you can substitute these two things for something you may have at home. As a substitute for the wallpaper roller, you can use a kitchen roll holder. And as a substitute for the leaf blower, you can use a hairdryer. Now you need to ask grown-up's permission to use a hairdryer. I have asked permission of my wife because this is hers as I don't have much use for a hairdryer. The flying toy roll demonstration is one of our favourites. Not just because we get to have fun with toy roll, but because we also can show you a little bit about science and we can show you how things fly. Now, if I get the toy roll and I push on the top, the toy roll goes down, goes with the force, it goes down. If I push on the bottom of the toy roll, it goes up. Now, if I blow on top of the toy roll, lots of people might think it would go down, but it actually goes up. It lifts up. And that, when I blow on top of the toy roll, the air moves quicker than it is on the bottom. Now, when air moves quick, it becomes a lower pressure. So the air pressure is lower here than it is underneath the toy roll. So things move from high pressure to low pressure. So what happens, the toy roll does just that and it moves from the high pressure and into the low pressure above it. Now this is how aeroplanes wings work. As the aeroplane moves through the sky, the wings are designed so that the air moves quicker over the top than the bottom and then it gives it this thing called lift. So it lifts the aeroplane. So this is the same thing, it's lifting the toy roll. Now, we don't just want the toy roll to lift, we want the toy roll to fly. So we need to add something else. We need to add this thing called thrust or power. To provide the thrust, we need power. Now I can try and blow the toy roll and make it fly, but I'm not blowing enough air across it to make it fly. But there's also something else that's stopping it fly. There's friction in between my fingers and the toy roll. So we need to take away the friction and that is where we use our kitchen roll holder. As we put the toy roll on there, there's less friction. It's a shining surface, so there's less friction. So now we just need to add a little bit of extra power. And this is where the hairdryer comes in. So now I've got the hairdryer. So the hairdryer blows more air than I do. It's got more power. So this time when I blow the hot air on the toy roll, air will move quicker on top, it will give it lift, but it will also give it some thrust, which will therefore make it fly. Now the reason why we use a leaf blower instead of a hairdryer at our big science sessions and parties is because this blows even more air, so this really does fly. Now we would like to say thank you very much again for joining us for another big science video. We hope you do try this at home. Again, send any photos, we'd love to see them. And you can go across to our YouTube channel, which is Big Science UK, and see loads more of the stuff we do there. So thank you very much.